can spirulina fight or even cure cancer? I don't know. And for the record, I'm not here to make any claims or any suggestions even that there's even a potential that it can fight or heal or cure cancer or even relieve symptoms or anything. So we're on the same page. But I am here to provide some studies that will help you get thinking a little bit further on this path of spirulina and see all of the valuable properties that spirulina has to offer. One of the first and best benefits of spirulina in the diet is that it provides an alkaline environment. So in 1944, Dr. Otto Warburg, you can just go ahead and Google his name, O-T-T-O Warburg. In 1944, he won a Nobel Prize for making, for saying basically that disease, and in particular cancer, thrives in an acidic environment and cannot survive in an alkaline environment. The way that our bodies process and digest foods, handle modern day living and stressful situations, um, move the way that we exercise usually, can all create an acidic environment in our bodies. Coupled with the stresses of modern day living and air pollution and fried foods and meats and dairies, that's a lot of acidity that our body has to handle. The good news is, and one of the best things about spirulina, is that it helps to provide um, an alkaline environment in the body. So when it's digested, it helps to balance the pH so our body won't be too acidic, right? Because Otto, Otto Warburg said, there's no such thing as cancer in an alkaline environment. Number two, spirulina promotes blood health. The primary compound in spirulina is this compound called chlorophyll. Now, the molecular structure of chlorophyll is said to be pretty much exactly similar to that of the molecular structure of our human blood. The only difference being that our human blood has iron in it and it gives it that red color but chlorophyll doesn't have iron in it so without the presence of iron our blood would actually be green <laughs> number three benefits of spirulina it promotes the absorption of vitamin d from the sunlight now i don't know if i'll be able to actually find the research on this but I can tell you from first-hand experience me and what I see in people, that's how it works. When somebody starts ingesting spirulina on a regular basis, they feel more energized from the sun, they hold a tan longer, and they generally just seem like healthier people. I know this and I've seen it because I I'm a health coach and I work with clients and when um, they start ingesting spirulina that's some of the things that they tell me and that's some of the things that I notice <laughs> but again I don't have the science or I don't know if I'll be able to find the research science to back up that statement so you'll just have to try it for yourself number four spirulina contains antioxidants and um, anti-inflammatory compounds and is known to boost the immune system. All the nutrients in spirulina and in particular this antioxidant compound called superoxide dismutase are known to have a major effect in helping the body fight against cellular oxidation and inflammation. So for the same reason that people say to eat a lot of blueberries for antioxidants to help fight off oxidation and fight cancer, for that same reason, you'll, you can just eat a little bit of spirulina and the spirulina will go a long way because superoxide dismutase is a lot more potent than I think generally any other antioxidant compound. So you can pretty much just add a little bit of spirulina to your daily routine 
and get as much if not more antioxidants than an entire platter of fresh fruit would do except maybe like a lot of mango stain fresh mango stain the best thing ever goji berries wild blueberries all sprinkled with some raw wild harvested cacao nibs on top Number five, and this is pretty cool because it probably has the most research to back it up out of all of the claims that I've made so far, is this um, compound in uh, blue-green algae or spirulina. It's called phycocyanin, and in the middle of that word is cyan, right? C-Y-A-N, which is like the color blue in a crayon box, kind of. So it's blue-green algae. It's only found in blue-green algae, and I believe spirulina has the most um, potent source of this phycocyanin, and it's known to provide anti-angiogenic -anti properties. So I wanted to read something from this you know there's a lot of cool sites out there but this is one that just seems like straight to the point eattobeat.org says based on the la latest medical science there are practical healthy and tasty food choices that can be made by you every day at every meal to incorporate cancer fighting foods into your diet our research is showing that certain foods have properties that can starve the microscopic cancers that develop in our bodies all the time. These properties are based on the breakthrough approach of suppressing blood vessels that feed cancers, a process known as angiogenesis. So that's the key word right there. Angiogenesis is basically the growth of tumors. Anti-angiogenesis foods are foods that will help to stop the promotion or the growth of cancer's tumors. And anti-angiogenesis anti, anti foods are basically foods to target tumors and stop their growth. Now, phycocyanin, which is rich in, or it's found um, in high quantities in spirulina, got the jar right here still, is one of the most potent tools to do just that, what we're talking about, fighting or um, halting or stopping, maybe even possibly reversing tumor growth. Now again, is spirulina able to fight or even reverse cancer growth and the growth of tumors? I don't know, but now you have some information and some tools and resources and links below to get you started on that journey to finding the answer for yourself. Follow the links below for more information. Thanks for watching.